So now that we're done with the first special case, that was the head case, let's move on to the second case, which is the general case, the middle case, where we're trying to remove an element somewhere in the middle of the list, not the first or the last element. And this basically illustrates what we have to do. Now let's see what exactly we're going to have to manipulate or change in the linked list. The first thing we realize is that we're going to have to sweep through the list to find our element. We're going to have to compare the element we want to remove to every single element in the linked list and try to find a match. And to do that, you need a pointer. You need to create a new pointer that will sweep through the list. And this is exactly what I'm going to do right here. The first step I'm going to do is create this pointer. I'm going to call it current because it's going to be pointing at a current element that we are comparing to the one we want to remove right here. And I will make it point to head or whatever head is pointing to. So essentially what I made is I made my current pointer point to this element right here and I'm going to be sweeping through the list. And how am I going to sweep to, through the list? I'm going to use a while loop. So this is our first case. Now this is where we're going to handle the general case. I'm going to say while uh, current and I'm going to open curly braces, clo close curly braces. This is where my code will go to handle the middle case. And I say while current, this is because I'm saying while current is not null. This will stop, this execution, this while loop execution will cease whenever current is equal to null. So, and this will happen when my current is going to be moving following those next pointers, point to this one, then point to this one, point to this one. So we're sweeping through the list until it reaches null. When it reaches null, I know I'm done with looking at the entire list and I'm going to exit this while loop. And this is what's going to happen right here. I'm going to exit the while loop. But I'm going to have to move the current pointer every time after I finish. So this is where I'm going to perform my comparison. I'm going to write the code right here. And at the end, suppose I did not find a match. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say current is equal to current next. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm moving the current pointer to the next element. It's following the next, see this next pointer right here? It's going to the next one, and then following the next, and so on and so forth, until it reaches the very end of the list. So now we, we have our while loop that allows us to sweep through the entire list. Now let's see what we have to do to manipulate the list uh, in case we find a, a match. Now if you look at the diagram, you notice that the manipulation you're going to have to perform is the following. Suppose this was the element that we want to remove and we found it. So we swept through the list, we got to this point and we said, you know what, this is the one I want to remove. What do you have to do? You have to look at the previous element and update its next pointer so that it starts pointing to the one that comes after the element you want to remove. And what you've essentially done is that your new linked list is going to go this way. This is it, and then go up and then go to this to this to this element. So it essentially skips the one you want to remove and then you free the memory associated with it. This is what we have to do. But notice there's a slight complication. When you get to this point, how are you going to modify the pointer, the next pointer of this element, the preceding element? You lost track of it because your while loop is just going to go from 1 to 3 and then it's going to stop here and going to say, okay, what was 2? I forgot it. It's going to have to follow the links again and do it once more. Or you could keep a previous pointer. So you have two pointers. You have a current pointer and a previous pointer. So your current is, for example, comparing this one, and you have a previous pointer that memorizes what you, where you were. So in case this happens to match, you can modify this. But a better solution is to look at use only one pointer. So we're going to use only this current, and we're going to say the following. We're going to say if current next. So we're going to be looking at the next element that uh, current points to. And I'm going to explain that in a second. So this is what I'm doing. I'm comparing the next element that current points to. And this is going to be my current. So suppose current is pointing to this. The next one will be this one. So I'm going to compare to this one. And I'm going to say, if this matches, modify this. So this comes back to the same thing as holding another pointer, a previous pointer. But now we're doing the job with only one pointer. So the moment I start, I'm going to start here, but I'm going to look at this match. And we don't need to match this one because we've already handled it in a special case. So I'm going to look at this pointer. I'm going to look at this element, see if it matches my element. And if it does, this is what I'm going to do exactly. I'm going to update current, ne uh, current next. Sorry. And I'm going to make it equal to element next. So what I did is I'm going to compare this element. This is where I start. This is my current pointer. Now I'm going to compare this element to the one I want to remove. If it happens to match, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pointer and make it point to element next. Point to this one. So skip this one. This